fell out of that strange hole in the sky. Clever girl. Mother says I meddle. Perhaps. I know everything. Ask me. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters and beyond that fields. By boat, you can get to the island. You do know a lot. I know everything. Ask me. What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, Mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the fisher king catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? Do you know who I am? You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. Ask me. Is the shore safe? Yes. Sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishermen. I hide under the fisherman's hut. Clever. Of course. Take care. Welcome, warrior. Greetings. If not for my woes, I'd rejoice in a swim with you. What concerns you? Let's talk. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. Who's Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind, and quite handsome. And now? He once escaped to the sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead, but old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. The drowners ever protect him. I'll search for your necklace. How wonderful! I have no gold with which to pay, but perhaps some trinkets could prove useful. It's a deal, then. I shall await you at the end of the beach, in an enchanting lagoon. How do I find Zephyr? If you slay enough drowners, he'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. Who are you? A naiad, a water nymph. I serve the Lady of the Lake. Farewell. Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm. Benas? Dragonflies? Water creepers? No. Hmm. I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking. Mm hmm. The mirage of a beautiful city appeared by the lake. Mm -hmm. The city might be submerged, am I right? Mm -hmm. Inhabited by the Vodianoi? Mm -hmm. They get along with humans? 
Mm. I handled something similar once. I can help. Mm. So I guess I should talk to representatives of both communities. <sighs> Later. Gerald. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there, the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who will get my spirits up. In, traveller. Greetings. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, traveller. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Prize-winning cow? She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made Murky Waters famous. Thanks for the story. May I help you? Farewell. I heard you beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Then welcome. They call me The Rock. Sounds ominous. Want to fight a real champion? What's the wager? 500 orins. I'm in. Indeed, the bliss of me.
Congratulations, champ. Before you collect your reward, know another fight awaits. Who with? Go to the swamp, where you'll meet the Nameless One. Choose your reward. I'll take the coin. Five hundred orange is yours. your necklace. Splendid. Now your reward. I'll grant you a book on the Vodianoi. The Earth Rune, or I'll treat your wounds whenever you need. The book about Vodianoi. It is yours, though it's such a dull tome. Thank you. Take this token as a memento. The amulet will protect you from drowners. Though you live long, I wouldn't care to live longer than my father and grandfather. And from afar, see no signs of a weapon. Witcher, those noon wraiths keep us from work in the fields. Well, not for free, I know. May that miser Hoffman part with some coin to end this problem. Where did the noon wraiths come from? They are midday demons, appearing when the sun reaches its zenith. Even children know that. I'm happy to learn more. Noon wraiths are born of heat, grief, and the plowboy's sweat drops. They dance in the sun and draw in careless wanderers. No man has ever survived a dance with the noon wraiths. They depart when the sun sets and return when the sun reaches high in the sky again. Thanks for the tale. Ah, women. She just loves carrots. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this and... She is impressive. Look at that glistening coat. Her tail and that udder. Mm-hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Mm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I see. There's also the fish people. A scourge on our lives. How so? They got vicious, driving us away from the water, wounding some of us, and killing a few. Julian knows more. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? Farewell. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights? 
Struggling against evil and villainy? Not exactly. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selena can be found anywhere. Your fiancé is spending time at the inn? We're not speaking, he's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. What does he see in her? Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we going to kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. Keep quiet. Don't pester us. They're plotting. They're treating their wounded. We can't drive them away. They say Offman sent a boy to Vizima about it. No, he didn't. But slander. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Alina doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. Farewell. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Ah, oh, yeah! I have a Dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over.
a swan by the Lady of the Lake. No. Then flew off forget. into the world as she had long wished. Mm. 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 Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Any work for a witcher? That's right. We extract antique items from the underwater city. You'd be amazed how much people are willing to pay for them. The fish people don't like it. Unfortunately, we've already hired a different witcher. Another witcher? Who? Where is he? His name is Berengar. You'll find him in the crypt. I think he's finally gotten to work. Thanks. We'll talk again about the Vodianoi. I need to speak with Berengar first. Farewell. <laughs> Geralt? I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. Neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather? May Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him, and knew that sooner or later, someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure. For the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. Farewell. Why do you seek me? I saw Julian and Selina together, but don't get bent out of shape. Selina starved for attention. Julian didn't seem really interested. Selina can be unbearable, but she'll change if she marries. And Julian, well, he loves me, and no argument can change that. I merely wanted to be sure Julian was well, without him knowing or thinking I was concerned. Thank you, Witcher. Ah, uh, women. What does he see in her?
Why do you seek me? Has Alvin been behaving strangely? He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? Farewell. I definitely should. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. Well, there's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The river ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Hmm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans, or a book about spectres and the King of the Wild Hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. Alvin, step away. Summoned ghosts can be very dangerous. I just wanted to use the power like Triss. Normally I'm kind. Just lonely of late. I'd like Alvin to keep me company playing dice. He's a clever boy. Leave him alone. A classic solution then. Let's play for him. The loser leaves the boy to the other. You don't stand a chance. Confident. Splendid. You saved me. I was scared. Everything's all right. I know. What drew you to these ruins? The hermit told me they were magic. Triss said I'd learn to cast spells someday. I like magic. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. I have a gift for you. You like this dimeridium necklace? Well, necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Do you want to live with ordinary people? Witchers protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. Dwan, look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action no matter the price? Garrett, open your mind.
What's keeping you here? The sole thing capable of overcoming death. Love? Ha! <laughs> I didn't know you to be a romantic. I speak of dice, of course. Is a game worth coming back for? It's a passion, not a game. I know. Made and lost fortunes playing poker. Lost my life, too, with a stroke of bad luck. A game? Gladly. Should I toss for you? I'll manage. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but... Has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Gerald? I wanted to answer that letter. Good idea. I have pen and parchment. Think of a beginning. Hmm. All right. Dearest Triss. Your romance is blooming. I'm happy for you, Geralt. I don't want to talk about it. Now what? Something about Alvin? I'm sure she's worried about him. And I can ask her to notify Foltest immediately about his doings. She could find that interesting. Sit down and write it. The fisherman could take it to Vizima. I'm glad to see you. What happened? Alina went for a walk in the fields and hasn't returned. I'm losing my mind. Get out, please help me. Fine. I'll go look for her. Thank you. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Harn the Mason sent me. That good for nothing. He sealed my chimney, and ever since it's either cold as winter or foggy as fall in here. I wager work on the bridge isn't progressing. Exactly. Why would he need a witcher and witch? At night, Griggs destroy the bridge Harn must then repair in daytime. Unruly Griggs indeed. Doubtless he tried to avenge himself, and they've taken offense. Any way to help them reconcile? Recover their treasure. Treasure? Another tribe of Griggs inhabits the crypt in the fields. Evil sort. This tribe stole the greatest treasure of our Griggs, a cat harness. Cat harness? Indeed. Like humans ride horses, Griggs ride cats. Go to that crypt and recover the harness, then return to me. Where is the harness? In their chapel, which resembles a miniature sculpture of a saint. Like the ones they place at crossroads. How do you know this? I could say I read it in some chicken entrails, but the truth is more trite. A certain Grig has fallen in love with me. He informs me of happenings in the area. Are you kidding? No matter. Thanks. Hey, Geralt! These fields are great to play in. Do you have the necklace? I wear it constantly. Do you still have nightmares? Not when I nap during the day, but at night. I have strange dreams. You needn't tell me. I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin.
carried a shawl full of juicy sun-drenched raspberries for my beloved. Have you seen my shawl, Wanderer? I lost it. <coughs> I'm to marry soon, but I must see my lover one last time. How sad he'll be if I bring him no sweet raspberries. Love is suffering, a pain that pierces my soul like a spear. Where is my beloved? Come rest in the sun. Ah, oh, my dear sister, I cried on your shoulder. Why? Why do I feel so cold? Because you're dead, Alina. You lie! I shall scratch your eyes out! Yes? You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin? Okay, I'll stop. Yes? How did you get to Murky Waters? I was learning the Elder Language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men, angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to a friend in Kovir, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Mm-hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs and he started crying, and the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. I ran, and they chased me, and I was running so fast. But then I tripped, and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Be good. I'll see you later. You kill my beloved Alina! I didn't mean to! Lawyer, you were jealous of her! Die, murderer! Ah! Who are you? A soul damned to wander the world forever. Who cursed you? I myself did, in killing my sister Alina, out of jealousy. Selina? Love denied. The sun denied. It burns! At night I sing my plaintive song.
Hi, Geralt. How did you get here? I'm not telling. I'll walk with you. If anything happens, run. Yes? Sheathe your dagger. She killed my Elena? I'll never see her again! Selena killed her sister? She confessed! They argued, and Selena pushed Elena. My beloved hit her head on a stone. It's too terrible. An accident. Selena told me, and I couldn't control myself. Selena envied Elena, was jealous of Julian and his wealth. She must be punished. Elena is not dead. She turned into a noon wraith. A oh, terrible! I must help her. Try not to do anything stupid. Geralt? I was supposed to find Alina. Have you? Yes. That's wonderful. Is she all right? Sit down and have a drink. Alina is dead. She has turned into a noon wraith, a demon. Dead? I know it's hard, but we can't leave this as it is. People will start dying in the fields if I don't do anything about this. I see. Do what you can. I'll pay you. It'll be more than a silver penny. Do what needs to be done, Witcher. And if you can, make it quick and painless. I'll try. You know, I believe in reason, not in gods. Yet I prayed to Melitelli that Alina and I would meet again. I had a bad feeling. I repulsed it. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? Adam killed her. He was in love with Alina, lost control of himself and killed Selina. By all the gods, that's terrible. So much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Geralt, please help them, and I'll make sure Adam is arrested. He must answer for his crime. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can to help the sister's souls pass on. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? I saw your notice. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous omelets. Here are three. Wonderful. Here's your coin. What do you want? I have the Griggs treasure. Now take the harness to the chapel of our Griggs. It stands just by the bridge, a small red santon. Return the following day to see if the Griggs accepted the gift. How will I know they did? In its place, they will leave you a gift of value, symbolizing friendship or joy. If Harn keeps this gift with him, the Griggs won't trouble him. Did you post this notice? About the Devourer's teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Then I'm off to hunt Devourers. I await your catch. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. With the question, who's the fairest of them all? I know Nehelenia's mirrors come in two varieties, polite and broken. Alina's mirror was clearly broken. If you reassemble it and show Alina, the curse may be lifted. Thanks, Abigail.
Ferengar, mysterious witcher and outcast. I finally found him. What do you want, Witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some brooks I will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't. <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen sort of that. Fucking witch's fate! <laughs> nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know, but I don't want to fight you. <laughs> oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again. That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of Witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The Witchers made me a mutant. The Professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some Arns and leave, for good. So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morhen, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little Witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor, and knows the legend. 
You could also try the Elven Handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sainted legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Farewell. Dog on a human leash. Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. It's me, Chiridan. Recognize me? Chiridan? Apparently not. You were busy. It's been some time. True, Geralt. And see what's come of it. A mess, not assimilation. You work hard, you pay taxes, then come the pogroms. You flee as they torch your tavern. Hard times. Good you're here. Why are you here? Same as the rest, eating berries and dreaming of my place on Earth. Try doing something else. Guerrilla warfare can be dangerous. I've survived that. Humans prevented me from living as I wished to. Disdainful times. More bad luck round the corner. Farewell. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Alf. Have you forgotten me? Much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world. I lost my memory. No matter. I am called Teruvial, and I am pleased to find you again. Me too. What brings you here? You mentioned we met. In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. Sometimes honor comes from humility. I'm afraid I can't help. Send. Kedmil Vakern. Greetings. Who are you? When the chaos of war surrounds us, few care for beauty and harmony. I ensure that beauty remains in the world. I create customized objects. You're a craftsman? Craftsmen produce useful items. The beauty of my works could awaken the dead. I'm here about the notice. Do you have the giant centipede armor? Here. Finally, I'll be able to progress with my work. Take this pouch for your toil. Yes? I'm looking for information on Raven's armor. The legendary Witcher's armor. It has unique magical qualities. I'm listening. It was made in the gnomes' workshops, but finished by elves. The songmaster, Tayin Sal, took an interest in Raven's armor and worked for twelve days straight. Each movement of his chisel accompanied by a song of power. Legend says that in battle, the armor sang for Raven a song of victory 
adding to his confidence and calming him. A beautiful story. Do you know if any records of these songs remain? I would look in crypts if I were you. Find the tomb of the elven songmaster. Objects belonging to him in life must lie in or near his sarcophagus. There are quite a number of you here. We escaped from Vizima. The wounded and sick lie in the cave. If you'd like, speak with our leader, Teruvio. Any trouble from the inhabitants here? The Lady of the Lake reigns in this land. We're safe here, though I have heard of conflict with the Vodianoi. The Lady of the Lake? The goddess of this land. Listen to the bubbling waters, the whispering of the trees. Look at the waving grains, the smiling people. You'll sense it too. I think I get it. You'll understand when you meet her. Farewell. I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster and I wasn't afeard at all! Only fools feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar is afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you. I want to be a witcher. Do you think it's fun? Sure. One like you. Not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never grow ill. We never get sick, but that costs us. And then there's pain. Would you like to hurt badly? No. Can't I become a witcher without that? No. I'm not sure then. Help me! Help! <laughs> Glad to see someone tending to the monsters around here. No problem. Though I can't offer you coin, know that I appreciate what you do. Like I said, no problem. Please accept this small token. I use this whetstone to sharpen my scythe, but you may also use it on your sword. I'm sure it'll be useful. What do you want? Did you post this notice? About the Devourer's Teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Here they are. Thank you. Your reputation precedes you. Meaning? Five monsters lie dead? That's worthy of a reward? This runic stone is said to be very powerful. Take it. I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesiba. I'm here about the notice. What do you have for me? Five Alp teeth, as stated. How vile! Here's the gold I promised. Beastie Beta? I killed the fishman. Dear gods, what is it? Take your 800 orange and remove that nasty thing. Farewell.
can I help? Anything a witcher can do for you? I do have a problem. How can I help? There's a druid's ring nearby with an ancient statue of the goddess. The place is saturated with the power and attracts dangerous entities. Not surprising. The wild hunt began haunting the ring recently. Its king hopes to lure the souls of the warriors laid in the kurgans by my hut. I have dealt with the hunt. What would you like me to do? Kill nine phantoms, a hallowed number of the druids. Perhaps the appearance of a witcher will drive off the king of the hunt. As your reward, you may have a book on vampires, ownership of a hut, or a wreath of immortals. I can do that. Remember this. The king of the hunt is a powerful opponent, and no mortal, not even you, can hope to defeat him. So how do I fight him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the king of the hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle Mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. Can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? Who lies beneath the Kurgans I saw before your hermitage? Knights who died serving the lady over the ages. Gavanda defended her honor against the Black Skull Knight. Elavera perished at the foot of her altar fighting a water beast. Boar's tomb is symbolic. For the knight was lost on a holy mission. The last is for Renard, an ordinary innkeeper who stopped customers from pissing in the lake. Do you take care of the Kurgans? Indeed. That is how I serve the lady. Her power is strong near the Kurgans. At night, sometimes, you can speak with the lady's champions. From them I draw wisdom and knowledge of past times. What can the Wreath of Immortelles do? You might find it useful. Remind me what to do. Slay nine phantoms within the Druid's Ring. They only appear at night. The King of the Hunt is the fiercest of them. How do I handle him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the King of the Hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle Mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. you to hide if it turned dangerous. I hear voices from all those women who live here. They're dead, Alvin. So many fear me. 
When they think I can't hear, they call me the devil's child. Those people, they're just afraid of what they don't understand. I want them to like me. I don't want them to die. What should I do? Your visions are a gift, not a curse. It's up to you to use them for good. I'll remember that. Sir? I made a deal with the Griggs. I'm impressed. They won't bother you while you wear this four-leaf clover. Perhaps I can finish the bridge before the first snowfall. Your reward. I prefer gold. 400 orins, as promised. Thank you. Yes? Can you reassemble a shattered mirror? For 100 orins. Deal. Take the pieces. I'll pay you when you're done. Beastie Beta? Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. The scimitar from the crypt. I've seen enough proof. Your 800 orins. Farewell. Yes? Is my mirror ready? Like new. Now, 100 orins? Here. Follow the noon ray. Come with me. Alina. Gaze in the mirror. Alina? Take a good look. It's... So romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nehalenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a Nilfgaardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? Me. I don't know. That's sad. You should fall in love. Gerald? Dandelion, I need to figure out how to help Alina's ghost pass on. By some stroke of chance, Alina acquired a Nehalenya's mirror, a rare and powerful device used by prophets and oracles. It could foretell the future accurately, though sometimes confusingly. Alina consulted her mirror often. The mirror didn't help. Alina is still floating around the fields. Maybe it lost its power. No, Alina knows who she is, but she refuses to accept her death. How can I persuade her? What if she could see her sister? One problem. As a night wraith, Selina only appears after dark. Selina. That stormy hair we all know. A hand raised to her lips. It's Alina. Alina. Her fingertips... Something's not right there. Selina sounds better. Never mind. Concentrate. You can compose a ballad later. Sometimes at night, Adam listens close. Tis Selina's, Selina's, Selina's ghost. Lovely, wouldn't you say? Yeah, lovely. I was thinking. People say art and magic are kin, right? So why don't we try poetry to keep Alina around until her sister arrives at dusk? I need you to write a poem. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. 
Alina is dead and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something new? I'm feeling... The sun rocks the earth, grain falls from the stalk. Come away with me, Wanderer. Come away with the noon wraith. Gerald? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. My lady. Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true, his soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains, his lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death, who is this man? A ghost. Stop! 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 Selena Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me, Selina. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selina, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a Witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems, not always using a sword. Gerald? Dandelion, care to explain why? Well done, Gerald. I would have warned you, but I had to rely on a sudden inspiration. Spare me your inspirations in the future. Stop sulking. It worked, didn't it? Gave me an idea. I'll develop that theme into an epic work about folk customs.
How can I help? I finished the job. The wild hunt is gone. Splendid. I'm grateful. Which reward do you want? The wreath of immortelles. Handle it carefully and use it when the moment is right. Thank you. Please, also take this sack of holy salt. Carry it on you to fend off phantoms. It might prove useful. Wanderer, driven on by the wind as I am, why do you disturb me? I'd like to help. So one exists who is not indifferent to my fate? What is this? A wreath of immortelles? Crown me, white-haired one. Free me! Go in peace, Selina. You have suffered enough. No challengers. Your mother sucks fighting hard. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. And Selina? Selina's soul rests in peace. Thank you, Geralt. I know Alina would have wanted Selina to be at rest, too. <laughs>